All right, we're gonna do the Skelly install, uh, head turner install again. Um, this is a new replacement head on the Skelly. Uh, first thing I wanna do, remove the head piece connector. So I'm gonna grab something here to try to stabilize this thing. They put the screws in crooked. And everybody asks why they don't use stainless screws. Um, they mass produce these. I'm assuming it's because they mass produce these things and build them quick. They can't even get the screws in straight. But uh, what I'm assuming is they use magnetic bits and the magnetic bits, the screws won't stick. They're not, the stainless is not magnetic. So uh, it's a little more time consuming to have to hold the stainless because um, I've been using the stainless ones on some of my others builds and it does take a little bit longer but um, I'm, that's why I'm assuming they don't use stainless all right so we got that removed got our cable here Just leave that there to hold piece of tape would probably help holding this but we'll get it in a minute all right, so in the kit, you know, your head turner. This is your power wire. Your power wire and your neck piece. This is going to replace the neck, the part on the neck, like this. But it's on the neck. You'll take it off. This will go in place of that. This piece here, I usually install them, but sometimes they're not. And they'll mount on the bottom of this. Here. The motor part goes inside the head. 10 foot power cord extension. And six volt, two amp power supply. as well as your cutout pattern. So we're gonna take the cutout pattern and it's very close to the same size as the hole in here, but not quite. So we're gonna place that, kind of center it on there, get you a Sharpie. I want the tab part facing the back. Just kind of trace that out a little bit. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just want the general idea here. Cut. All right, we got that. Now, different ways to cut it out. Ideally, a Dremel works well. Um, I don't have a Dremel, so I'm gonna do the best. Now, I'm just gonna drill a hole on these corners here. And I will use 
attempt to use a box cutter. Don't know how well that'll work. Probably not too well. Alright, so let's try it. Okay, for the ring it works pretty good. I've used a file in the past to file it down. And that works pretty good too. But a Dremel would probably be the safest. Bad things can happen with box cutters, so I don't recommend it, but it's kind of all I got at the moment. So I'm going to make it work best I can. Got that for it. Uh, a little thicker on this back part. Just using the drill bit. Cut these out. Test the fit, motor to the back, and it goes right in. All right, got that done. Get this out of the way. All right, we'll take this piece here, that upside down. Normally you would plug it in, let the motor zero for one or two seconds, just enough to zero it up. Um, I'm not gonna do that right now. Uh, I'm gonna mount this piece here onto the bottom. And screwdriver is probably your safest bet. Four screws that go in here. I'm only putting two because I didn't bring the other two. But when you put your skeleton together, you'll have the metal pole in the spine and it's going to be sticking up a little bit. That's what's going to go up in here. This piece will be on the neck. So this will go down into these grooves and that keeps it from turning. So when you put all this together, 
and your head is not perfectly centered when you zero the motor. So when you plug in the motor, the motor, the servo will go to zero, which is supposedly center. So if you got it centered properly, you got this mounted in there, it doesn't really matter um, if you get stuff a little off or it's a little wrong or whatever, because what this enables you to do is pull the head off, turn it so that center is facing the front, wherever you want it to set, and then just pick the notch that this, fix, this will fit into that best suits that. Just point it where you need it to point and you should be good to go and it should be centered. And that's how that works. All right. So we got our hole cut. Get our wire in the back back here. You make sure you get your other wire out for the eyes. that one out. power extension cable first so, and I've seen some people take electrical electrical tape and tape around this for I guess waterproofing or whatever Let's try this again. All right, got that. Now you want, when you when you get ready to install this, you wanna make sure you give it a little bit of extra room for these wires. So I'll generally push it in just a little bit. And you can make a notch in here like that was in here before to kind of slide it in a notch or um, however you wanna do it. But you get that in there. Line up your holes so that you get maximum coverage. Um, usually this little notch on the flange, I usually point it to the front. That puts the motor in the back. And you'll have one screw over this hole. So most of your screws, all of your screws will be able to go into something except for that one right here. Put those screws in, mount that in there, and that's basically it. You just wanna make sure that these wires don't fall back down inside, because then you gotta pull it back out. And that's all you gotta do. And then this whole, the head will actually slide onto the skeleton down into the neck. Metal pole goes inside and adjust it how you need it. This is one of the simplest, um, other than the dog, to do. So, if you have any questions, let me know. And uh, we'll see if we can get it fixed up for you. Thanks.